It's just my... Are you focused? Please tell me you're focused. Was I not focused? Oh gosh. I hope I am. Oh no. Okay. okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a very long time since I recorded a video. It's just been kind of hard to get back into filming and stuff. I do have a lot of footage that I want to edit, such as vlogs, and I had other beauty videos, but I feel like I'm just gonna start fresh and just scrap that. Not like you guys would have known, but you know, just letting you know. We're gonna move on out and do good or be consistent starting now. Welcome back, or I guess I welcome myself back. <laughs> Excuse my hair, my bangs. I'm trying to grow them out and I really, they don't, they're just doing their own thing, so. And for today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorites. This is my first ever favorites video on my channel. And I guess this is gonna be for the month of June while I was traveling in California. And I really got to really bond with a lot of these items. So let's just get right into it and talk about my favorites of the month, the past month. The first product that I really bonded with was, well rebonded with, was my Modern Renaissance palette. When I was thinking of what palette to bring to California with me for two weeks, I just wanted to bring this one because you can do neutral looks with the light shades and then the more like brownie shades. Then you have some pops of color, you have red and then orange. This is a palette that I feel like everybody must get. I don't know, if you want to get someone their first palette, you got to get them the ABH modern renaissance or the american renaissance as marcus Choi calls it so the next item that i really liked for the month of june and i re fell in love with all over again which is funny because these two items have both featured in my channel a lot but it's the nicole Guerrero anastasia glow kit i just got into highlighting again right before california i really didn't like the glow once i went to california and the weather was super nice and stuff i just wanted to glow blindingly and this did the trick. I mostly used Kitty Cat, Daydream, and probably Glow Getter. Daydream, Kitty Cat, and Glow Getter. So I finally got my hands on a lot of the Jouer highlighters. I am obsessed with the shade Topaz. It looks a little something like that. A lot of, oh, it just feels so good too. But a lot of the Jouer highlighters kind of just leave your skin looking wet and they don't look like powders and they just glide on so that's the shade topaz like can you see how blinding that is i have it on today like d come on now that is the next favorite that i discovered was this catrice so i used this a couple times before california but i felt like it left a white cast or something kind of made my skin look gray when it's transparent it says it's waterproof so i wanted to bring it with me i ended up going to vegas for edc and i feel like it's like a bunch it's a combination of everything that i used but when i used this setting powder under my eyes and like all over my face my friends were telling me at the end of the night that my makeup looked pretty much the same as when when I applied it before I went and if you know EDC it goes from like 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. so that's crazy I really think that this did I even say what it is it's the Catrice prime and fine mattifying powder in the waterproof I don't know I'm in love with this I think this is a summer essential so yeah now the next thing that I kind of wasn't sure how I felt about but then I ended up loving was the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and this one was the one in Smoldering Satin. I feel like a lot of these were in my haul. I really was excited to use this and then when I first used it, I didn't really like it. It was hard to work with in a sense. Of course it's like easy because it has an applicator and you just put it on and it's it's gorgeous. Like you just place it wherever you want. But let's say you want to blend it out or something, the glitter just falls everywhere. If you precisely apply it, then it doesn't fall apart or anything. So what I've learned and now I love it for is I like to use this pretty much after I do everything else. But also what I really, really like this for is for like the inner corner and the like lower lash line pop. So that's what this is good for. I really like it. Super pretty. Love this. The next thing that I discovered in the month of June. I think this is my all-time favorite, the most favorite thing in my June favorites, and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This mascara is my new holy grail mascara. It's so good. 
it beats my all may get up and grow I know I've been talking about that for the longest time now and how I love that it's my holy grail and it's disappearing and I'm sad but I don't care anymore this does everything for my lashes it makes them long super long I get asked if I have falsies on like can you just I don't really have that many lashes but if you can see they look pretty dang long am I right I had to give this a super shout out because it was phenomenal. It is hard to get off, but it's definitely worth it and I love you. I love you. I will repurchase you forever and ever. I love this. Okay, next. Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I brought this spray, blah, blah, blah. I brought this setting spray to California because it met the TSA rules. It really holds your makeup. This plus the powder plus the mascara. I'm telling you, I feel like that was the reason why my makeup stayed perfect at the end of the night. It's really, really, really good. Comparable to my All Nighter from Urban Decay. Okay. This is something that I kind of fell in love with in California. I didn't really like it upon first impressions color wise. It was kind of out of my comfort zone and I didn't know if I liked it, but I wore it one day and it is, oh my God. It is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kristen and it looks like that. It's really, really pretty and I noticed that with her lipsticks, I think I discussed it in the first impressions, as long as you fill in your lips and then put that stuff on top, it stays on all day, doesn't wear off, looks great, doesn't feel so great, but I mean, the color is beautiful. This plus the lip liner, but I lost that and I'm very sad about it, but definite favorite of the month. Okay, you guys watched my haul. I was really only using like two shades of blushes before that. They're very, very neutral. But for the month of June, I've been going a little more bold and more pink and more out there because I want a more rosy, like sun-kissed blush. And the blush that I've been really liking is this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Vivid Swell Blush in Rose Water. And that's what it looks like. Look, that's what it looks like. It's super hot pink. But it has a sheen, and like I said, I really like that super glowy look in the summertime. So I apply this plus a highlight on top, and it's super blinding. It gives me a nice summer look, so I really like that. And this is from Minji, so thanks, Minji. All right, and then the last thing that I rediscovered and fell in love with and is my favorite of the month of June is the NYC Bronzer in Sunny. It's called the Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. It's just a matte bronzer. It's a little bit more on the orangey bronze side. After I got back from my vacation, I've been having a hard time matching my skin to my foundations because all of them are too light for me. And what I'll do is I'll just super bronze my face up and I've been using this bronzer and it's just been suiting me very well because my shoulders are just super tan and so my face my foundation kind of matches my chest because for some reason it doesn't get too tan down here but then I'll bronze it up with this bronzer and then it matches my body so rediscovered this after being on a physician's formula butter bronzer kick and I really like it and last but not least what I've been loving is this face mask, okay? Before California, I've been taking care of my skin. It was looking pretty dang good. Once I went to California, there were a couple of nights where I just forgot to take off my makeup. My skin hated me. I wasn't really doing my full skincare routine because I didn't want to bring everything with me. So my skin kind of sucked and I had a lot of bumps on my face. So when I got back, I used my Freeman's Detoxifying Charcoal Plus Black Sugar Mud Mask. This one's for normal to combo skin. They have another black sugar, the black sugar charcoal mask, I believe. But that one's more for polishing and this one's more for detox. I don't know if I recommend this for people with dry skin because I feel like it would dry your skin out a lot. Maybe if you use it once a week. As soon as I came back, I used this two times. My skin went back down to normal. I just feel like this really helped to just detox my skin. It's a good mask and it's pretty inexpensive. So check it out if you're having some problems. I recommend this. And now there are just two things that were kind of disappointments of the month. I hate to say this, but in California, I didn't bring a cleanser with me because I couldn't fit into my bag and I needed to buy one. So I bought Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Now you can see I use a good amount and this is like what I use in two weeks worth and I still have a little left. Uh, it's 
okay. Um, it says it's a one-step facial cleanser. It doesn't really cleanse my face that well. My face doesn't feel clean after I wash my face. I even would go in two times in one sitting to really like get everything off but it just wouldn't feel clean it would still feel slimy and like gross and I didn't have a toner with me so I couldn't really extra double cleanse I guess so it was okay it did do its best but I just don't think it's that great compared to some other cleansers I've tried so this was a no-go for me I'm sorry I mean your UI like it's okay so, last but not least my disappointment flop of the month was this kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe black lash glue i got this because my duo dark lash glue was irritating my eyes and i think it was because it was getting old so i wanted to get a new one but for some reason i realized that i've had a very hard time applying lashes and i feel like it's because this glue is just kind of hard to work with i realized also when i yawn or something my lashes just don't stick to my inner corners when I use this glue and I don't know, I'm sad about it. I really thought it would work, but it just, just didn't. That is all for my June favorites and disappointments that I just slid into there. I really apologize if this video is strange. I feel like my wording was very like, you know, but it's because I was really excited to sit down and film my favorites for you because I really like watching people's favorite, favorite, favorites videos and this was my first one it was pretty disorganized i feel like i promise i'll make it better next time if you like these kinds of videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorites were what your standout products were or if you've tried any of the things i've mentioned if you love them if you hate them don't forget to subscribe before you leave i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys had a great fourth of july weekend and i hope your summer is going well i love you I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next one. I guess I don't say it like that usually. I'm like, so I'll see you in my next one.